you be out of your mind not to uh, consider them and to do your project for you. They did a great, great job. Be careful. You too. Hi, I'm Rich Bond. I do the social marketing videos for Ed Masterson at Audible Images. And one of the coolest things about this job is I get to go into the homes and interview the people who have used Ed to create amazing two-channel and home theater systems. Today you're going to meet Rick Sutton, a gentleman up in Orlando, Florida. For 15 years he had in the back of his mind a dream to create the ultimate home theater. He designed it based on the Star Wars movies. He brought Ed in about two years ago to consult with the engineering design, the acoustical design, the gear selection, and the build out of the home theater. And you are going to be blown away what Rick and Ed have created. The space is a real testament to passion. It's the passion of the owner, Rick Sutton in this case, and the passion of the owner of Audible Images, Ed Masterson. The two of them have collaborated to build a home theater that is second to none, and I hope you enjoy the visit. Uh, being a, a, a sci science fiction and Star Wars kind of fan, I thought, wouldn't it be kind of neat to do a theater, um, theme theater, that uh, looked like the inside of a Star Destroyer? Uh, and uh, integrate the lights and the props and the uh, sound and, and uh, uh, being an engineer but not a theater design engineer, um, I wanted to do it myself. So I basically uh, designed the theater, sketched it out by hand, so uh, not only designed it and put it on paper, but then actually was involved in the build out personally. But it's hard to find uh, people that will share your passion for a project and, and spend the kind of time that you feel um, is appropriate for what you're trying to accomplish. And then a lot of times, uh, once you buy the equipment and install it, uh, people really, you know, they're in business for, for profit, so they like to move on to the next project. And with, uh, with Ed and uh, the uh, team at Audible, uh, I, I'm still actually amazed at how much they cared about this theater even after the final check was written. Uh, and that's a nice feeling to have. So I felt a sense of ownership with them. So it was my passion, it's my theater, but I could feel their ownership and their pride in what they were doing and I think it drives their behavior. In fact, today he's still training me. After, after a few months of operating the theater, I'm getting better at it, and uh, so he's always there. there. I call him, email him, and yeah, yeah. you know, so a few minutes here. later, an hour later, I get a call back, and he's always got uh, a good, good advice and, and gets me back on track. So they want to get it right, and they'll stick with it, stick with it. I can't tell you how many hours that they spent tuning this thing in and checking this and redoing that and trying to not, they're not happy with it. In fact, I would say their standard for how this uh, theater would have performed audibly um, exceeds what mine would have been. And that's a pretty good feeling to know that somebody cares maybe even more than you do about how terrific the outcome is. So I feel like I had a partner for the whole two years of this project. Um, that was really great. I'd pick up the phone anytime and say, here, here's where I'm at, this is what I'm doing, um, what do you think? And, and I got great advice and I, and I followed it to the T all the way through the project. So the, the uh, sound outcome in this place is, um, it's off the charts. I knew it was gonna be good because of the equipment we were buying, but the final outcome was, was off the charts terrific. I, I couldn't be happier. If I was doing another theater and somebody or somebody was doing another theater and they asked me for advice and they said, what do you think or how did the experience go? I would, I would not only tell them that the experience was great, but I would tell them if they go and use anybody else, they're crazy. Uh, because if you're in this part of the world um, and you have guys like that available to you, um, you'd be out of your mind not to uh, consider them and to do your project for you. They did a great, great job.